What's up, guys? Pep Man here, Carolina Varsity, taking a look at a game in the Southwestern Conference Open Up Conference play. We got East Mech making that uh, trip over to Independence in a uh, kind of it's, it's a big game here, especially for um, really for both teams because you know we're we're looking at Butler and we think they're the uh, the king here in the Southwestern based off what we've seen in uh, pre-conference play so far. And although those number two and number three automatic seeds are, are wide open, you know, anywhere, you know, between Myers Park, Rocky River, and these two teams, you know, I, I think they all have got as good a, a, a good a shot as anyone. And this game could, could go a long way in deciding who gets those seeds. So let's take a look at the keys. For East Mech, they got to follow the blueprint everyone's had against Independence. Force Independence to make plays on the outside in the passing game and load up on the run. Uh, we saw an independence receiver step up and uh, stone and have a good game against West Mech to pull that victory out. Um, I think you put your best guy on him and uh, keep eight in the box and load up against that um, read option that Coach Harden likes to run in independence. And we all know on offense, East Mech's going to run the ball to control the clock and uh, control the tempo of the game. That's what they like to do. And um, if they're able to do that, it's going to be a close game, you know, in the fourth quarter. And, you know, that's what they want. For Independence, they got to have some man beaters ready in the passing game. And I know Coach Harden, in his years of coaching, it will have this stuff ready. He's been facing a lot of zero and one coverage, which is man coverage, basically. One means there's a free safety over the top. Zero means there's no safety, and they're just playing straight man across the board. Um, East Mech may or may not have the personnel to do that, but I, I think, you know, you challenge them. Make Independence beat you that way. Don't let, you know, McGill, who's been a player of the week a couple times, you know, win the game for Independence. Let Make someone else step up. Um, so you got to have those man beaters ready to go. And um, really, you just got to find a way to, to move the ball besides running that read option all the time. And I know Coach Harden is smart enough, and they've been working on things to, to get that offense going because their defense has not played that bad lately. So, you know, obviously against East Met, you're going to load up on the run and, and force the uh, young quarterback who's developing. He has promise, but he's still a sophomore. Force him to make plays to win the game for East Met. So I think you've got two teams that really want to run the ball to control the clock, and the difference is going to be – in the passing games, who can step up and make plays against, you know, the defenses that are stacked to stop the run? The team that does that, you know, is going to walk away with the victory here. So I think it's going to be a competitive game. A lot of people look at independence and think, okay, they're playing East Mech. You know, they should blow this, you know, blow these guys out. But East Mech is much improved. Uh, Coach Schufer has a track record of turning teams around. He's got that program going in the right direction. So I, I think it's going to be closer than what people expect. Um, Independence, I think, has more talent, but, you know, East Mech is doing a heck of a coaching job, so, you know, what's going to win out? We'll see Friday night. You go out there, check it out. Let us know on the forums what, what you see, and uh, you guys have a good ball game. Play safe, and um, this game is going to go a long way in determining the rest of the uh, Southwestern 4A Conference. Thanks for watching.